matchup. Sean, how do you sum that up tonight? Well, inevitably, we wanted to win the game, and we haven't done, albeit going to penalties, which is always a tricky one. Um, from the team's point of view, after piecing together a team this morning um, with three players going downhill overnight, then, I mean, I think we've given as good as we can get with, with the players available. I think we've got 12 outfield players currently fit or not ill. Um, so to piece that together this morning and deliver a performance that I thought could win, especially the chance we created. And I know that's been a challenge to us for even before my time, taking them chances that kill a game. And we haven't done that tonight, but a lot of the performance was, was right enough to win a game. What then do you take away from tonight? The fact that you obviously had to make so many changes and you've got a performance. Or you've got a yeah, performance I mean, you've got, you've got one morning, basically, because this morning we, we thought we had Miko, Dom and Jimmy, and we didn't all of a sudden. So you've got... You know, you're talking about an hour's work to try and get the team to look like a team, and and some haven't played together before. So I thought that was pleasing. They looked like a team who could who could you know tactically understand what was the challenge. Some of the play was good at times, effective. We opened them up enough times to go and win the game, but we didn't take chances, as I as I mentioned. Um, you know, and you go down on penalties, so that that's the, the, the disappointing things you don't get through. You know, we we regardless of. Injuries, illness, I still you know, want the team to win and I still put out a team that was the best we could and I thought they delivered a performance that could win. And the two young lads, by the way, fant- I mean, Harrison making his debut is fantastic. You know, he's 17 years old. He's done brilliant since he's been with the first team with us and, uh, and I thought he did really well to, you know, it's not a team that are thriving at the moment, obviously, and to go in there and deliver a performance really pleased for him and differently for Roman, he's a bit older and, and been around it a bit longer. At this stage, you know how many you're likely to get back for the weekend. Obviously, he's building up to a big well, game against Leicester. We certainly hope to get the three illnesses back from what we know so far. It's a passing bug. Um, just, you know, at times like this, it feels like everything's against you. That's the way, you know, it can do. A um, couple of the others, Taki, we, we're hopeful on. Um, and the rest, probably unlikely. We'll have to wait and see. Just, obviously, it's the last time a League Cup tie will be played at, at Goodison Park now. And the last kick would be Ashley's missed penalty. But... It was also when he was brought on, there seemed to be a reaction from the crowd as well. I mean, how how do you sum that up? How, how does that impact you? When, when well, look, I mean, that's like that? that's a tough thing about football. You know, it's it's a tough industry, and, and crowds have opinions about varying players, and and that's one of them things. Um, he's certainly a tough customer that side of things mentally. There's no problem there. Keno's had his question. I thought Keno played very well tonight and, and showed his, his, his worth to the side with a couple of moments second half of top quality defending when he's you know, having to clear things from under his, or well, certainly in his six-yard goal with, with sort of calmness. Um, that's one of them things, you know, the, the demand on myself is high and that's the way it goes. I, I totally understand it. Young is old enough and wise enough to know this is the way the industry is sometimes, but I think he's a fantastic professional and I think everyone knows that within our group and that's just one of them things, you know, the, the fans have a right to say whatever they want to say. I've never questioned the fans there and I'm certainly not going to. Did you see it as a reaction to Ashley? I just wondered whether it was because Beto was being withdrawn as well. But... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I just probably, you know, my gut feeling tells you what your gut feeling was, which was it was probably that. Um, but, you know, only only the fans will know really. But like I say, it's not, I'm going to start questioning fans. They've been, they've been amazing since I've been here. There was a, a recent story, you know, part of it, and it was all a load of nonsense, but... Unfortunately, nonsense sells. Um, the truth doesn't. How do you lift them, though, once again? I, as I say, you know, this game against Leicester coming up at the weekend, it feels like he's doing before you... Well the, well, the truth at the moment is that, and you certainly know, we've had a lot of challenges since I've been at the club. It's been a constant challenge, more or less. So this is another one of them. You know, and last season, we had a very similar start. We were creating lots of chances, couldn't score goals. The difference was we were, we were tight in games, and we haven't been tight. We're aware of that. Um... And, you know, a couple of things have really gone against us with injuries in pre-season, all of that. But the fact is, it's a very similar start. It's been there for four seasons now. You know, I think they had four points after six games, three seasons ago, two seasons ago, last season, that type of thing. That's a bit that I'm going, well, where does that come from? But we can't change it all overnight, but we've, we've sort of got to. You know, we've got to get back to winning ways and it's got to be the next game. And, and I'm well aware of that, trust me. Sure. Cheers. Any other questions? Should I? <clears throat> I shot. Did did it feel a bit flat today from the off as this play? No, I was really pleased with the the the, 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 the team's performance from the off. Um, like I say, you pieced it together in one hour this morning when we found out who was missing. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, you know the the fact of taking on a game. They're a Premier League outfit. We know that they've got a big squad. 
Um, you know, and I thought that the performance from that side of thing was pleasing from the off. Is it a missed opportunity? You could have gone through on penalties, but you ended up. No, you know, um, the players practiced penalties this morning, like we do, and uh, they delivered them very well. So, you know, that's that's the thing. It's different when you're in front of a crowd, obviously. Well, sorry, go, go. we'll come back to you, cool show. In the third. Sean, you mentioned the slow start now over a number of years. Have you been able to pinpoint any patterns or any trends, in, in particularly in your time here? Well, only I thought last year was a, was a clear, um, well documented as it happens case of not taking chances. This year has been affected by injuries, which is not ideal. You know, players missing a lot of pre season, but we've still had the chance to win games. Obviously, the last two games, particularly, um, and tonight we've had chance again tonight to win games. So. But if it's been a longer term thing, that you, then you're just scratching your head going, well, why is that? But like I say, you know, you can't find every answer each week that you find, and that's what I'm attempting to do, and it's, it's a tough industry to do that. But that's my job, is to find answers short term, middle term and long term. The first thing is short term, quite obviously. So we need to win games. Another set piece goal conceded tonight, albeit with different personnel. How concerned are you? about the, the record that has been good in previous years and, and a few examples Yeah, it's already. been very good under ourselves. Attacking the ball is always a, the biggest thing and, and any team that you work with, ball comes in the box, you're having the clarity to attack it. Sometimes that comes with um, confidence, the edge of confidence and the edge of belief in doing that. Um, but that will return because we've got players who do know how to do set pieces and know how to attack and defend set pieces. Our record suggests that quite strongly, as you know. It looked like Dwight was picking up how would Bellis, was that right? Was he the one tasked with? No, 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 it's um, the zonal idea, not zonal at setter, but creating people who can stop runs and leaving your key headers to head the ball. Um, the setup has been what we did last season, but adjusted for the personnel. And we've had one, one, well, 20 minutes this morning to adjust virtually every player. So I, I don't think it's the same thing when that happens. You've got new players coming in, trying to adjust their positioning. Um, you know, at lastminute.com. So I think it'd be bigger picture if it was the same people all the time, but it's a different group today. Thank you. Well, Sean Solly said about Tarkovsky, has he got an injury, has he? Or is he yeah, he's, he's back. Um, he's been fighting his way through it. We're hopeful it settles down in time for the weekend. And Garner Gay tonight wasn't in the squad? He's got a personal issue with his father, unfortunately, which obviously we wish, wish him well with that. And, and, and so he's had the trouble me. back. Sorry. A um, few fans are asking why Beto was brought off. Obviously, he's your only striker on the on the pitch and on the bench. What the thoughts behind that? Just trying to adjust the team to go and win a game. You know, we, we didn't think that, that we were getting the chance we wanted, so to trying to change the style. Illy's kind of a different player, as you know. Riggles gets turned, breaking the back line, that sort of thing. So just trying to affect a game to win it. We've got one, currently one fit striker. So, you know, it's unlikely they're going to play every minute of that game tonight. So we're just trying to affect a game to go and win it. Okay, thanks, Fox. Thank you. Good. Just another one. Did you have a question? Yeah. Yes. Hi, Sean Hamza here. Um, one last question for myself. It wasn't the best of results, but it's a really good experience for Harrison uh, Harrison Armstrong to be playing 60 minutes, starting the game as well. He had a really good battle against Adam Lalana today. Can you just give us a bit of your thoughts on how he started? Was well, a young player who's, who's who'd gone shone brightly from pre-season. Um, the youth team. Um, sort of coaches mentioned him to us and said, look, he's the first one up and he's done great and we'll be keeping him with the group. I think he can develop further, quite obviously, but it's doing the world of good and fantastic for him and his family to get him out there playing at Goodison tonight. So I'm really pleased for him as an individual. So it didn't go our way, but he certainly gave everything he could and he'll learn quickly because he's, he's a very good player, I think. Absolutely. And with someone like um, James Garner in the side as well and Idris Gay in the side, will have a lot of experience to be working with. Yeah, I mean, that's that's part of why we want him up with the first team training. I mean, he's been unfortunate so far because we haven't had a full squad to train with. But when we do, as you rightly say, them players rub off and you're not just the coaching staff, but the way you train, the way they work and all the habits that you find from them sort of pros. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, folks. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. See you later.